Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have this math challenge before us. Yeah, the question is sub bracket of p minus 7 close bracket all to the power of x equals to 7. What day is the value of x? I've solved a similar challenge of this kind on the channel already, although that question is just um, bracket of p minus 5 close bracket all to the power of x equal to uh, 5. In that question, I use a different approach, and here I'm going to use another approach. That is the reason I decided to bring this uh, uh, challenge, okay? If not, you can equally apply the formal approach or the approach I use in the other question and you get the same result. But here, I want you to get used to two different approaches here. Hence, I'm bringing this question. So if you knew here, this is online mass TV. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we'll take our solution here. All right, so the question, yeah, we can rewrite this expression here yeah, as bracket minus two one, okay? The times seven, the r to the power of x equal to seven. So if you look at this carefully, we are having minus one here, yeah, and here we are having seven. If we multiply this by this, it's going to give us what we have in here back, okay? All right, so how do we um, uh, manipulate this now? We are going to remember or recall what we call the Euler identity. So what does it say? It says that our e to the power of iota pi plus 1, this is equal to 0. So we can move this to this side, right? So give us our e to the power of iota pi equal to minus 1. So with what we have here now, look at it carefully. We are having minus 1 here. So from here, we can bring the left-hand side to represent our minus 1 here. Again, if you look at this question, you will discover that you cannot get a real solution from this challenge. There is no real solution, no matter what, okay? So if we put the whole of this in this place, our equation will now be consoled. So this will now implies our e to the power of iota, okay? That times our seven r to the power of x, this is equal to seven, easy. So the next thing we do here is because we are looking for um, our x. So what we do here, it is easy. We take log to both sides of the equation. And here I prefer using the ln, ln base e. So I want to apply ln base e to both sides. So it is going to give us here ln bracket, our e to the power of our iota, the pi, this is pi, please. Okay, the times seven r to the power of x, this is equal to the ln of seven. Very easy. So let's continue on this side of the board and see what this gives us. All right, so we look at this carefully. Now look at the exponent here now. What we do to this, recall the law of logarithm, which says that if you have um, log, let's take a p to the power of k, then say move this back here. So this will now give us here our k times log our p, right? So if we consider this law here, then what does this imply? It means we can move the whole of these exponent down to this side here, okay? So if we do that, this is going to give us here x dot our ln bracket, our e to the power of iota pi here, the times seven, the equal to ln of seven. What we to do here is very easy. Look at what we're looking for. So all just you need to do is just to divide by ln bracket uh, e to the power of iota pi times seven close bracket. We the same. We do the same for this side here, which is our ln of our bracket e to the power of iota pi uh, times seven close bracket. But up here, this this leaves. Now, from what we have here, we have a multiplication here. And there, we have a law of logarithm which says that if you have log our m n, this is equal to log our m plus log our n. You remember this law? Yeah, this is called the multiplication law of logarithm. So if we apply that to this, we can rewrite this expression. So our x stores will now give us here the ln of 7 all over here we're going to take this here to give us here ln of our e to the power of iota pi 
here, then um, plus the ln of 7. Again, we are having exponent here. So we can move this expression here backward here according to um, this law here. Okay, so if we move this, so this will now become, we are moving the whole of this iota power. We are moving it this way. So we're going to have this to be our ln of 7 all over the um, iota pi, then ln of our e the plus ln of 7. Okay, let me draw this well. So now look at this. We are having ln base e times e. What happened? This and this will leave the system. Well, there is the final value for our uh, x here now. Okay, we are having our x this is equal to this. So let's continue on this side and see what the actual value of x will give us. So from here, we're going to have our x will now be equal to the ln of 7 all over. We're going to have our i yota pi there plus ln of 7. Okay, so the actual arrangement, if we were to rearrange the denominator, we're going to have ln of 7 all over ln of 7 then plus iota pi. So this is the value of our x that we satisfy this original equation. All right. So if you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Okay. And again, if you're not subscribed, do it to subscribe because at All I Must TV, we roll out good approaches to math problems that you will definitely find facilitating. See you in our next video. But before then, keep winning. Bye for now.